It seems 2021 is the year for the early launches because it seems Apple's roadmap is going to start early and be aggressive. Because yes, we have some new leaks that give us a better idea on what and when to expect these new Apple products, and that includes the AirPods Pro. We have some new in real life images of the OnePlus 9 and uh, we, well, it looks interesting. And Carl Pei just announced his new company. It's called Nothing. And yes, that's the actual name, Nothing. I'm Jaime Rivera, and if you can guess what Nintendo game originally used this art, obviously without Googling it, then dude, you had an amazing childhood. This is Pagano Daily. And as you know, the official news today begin with deals. But here's the thing, you've got one day left to enjoy some of the best ones. Yes, the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra, and pretty much every product we got at Unpacked is still available for pre-orders with huge savings, but you have to move quick. So if you get the Galaxy S21, it is available for just $99, and the S21 Plus for $299. If you have an eligible device for trade-in, and you also get $100 or $150 respectively in instant credit for accessories, and six months of Spotify Premium. The S21 Ultra is still available for just $4.99 with up to $200 in instant credit, a smart tag, and yes, four months of YouTube Premium are still there. Also, don't forget that we have deals on the award-winning UB Pro Rough Case from Subcase. Use promo code 10 Pocket Now on Amazon to get 10% off, or promo code PocketNow15 on Subcase.com to get your cases. Now, the deals that I'm shocked are still here since Black Friday are for every other great Samsung device. The Galaxy Z Flip is available for just $299, and then the Z Fold 2 is still available for $999 if you have an eligible device for trade-in. Now, moving on to Apple deals, the Apple Watch Series 6 is available for $40, off on Amazon, leaving the 44 millimeter GPS variant for 409. The Series 5 is also on sale, with the gold variant being a crazy 300 bucks, basically leaving the regular price for the other variants at 449, even if this watch is not being sold anymore. But anyways, finally, the Google Pixel 4a 5G is still $40 off, leaving the entry level variant for 459 shipped. We have more deals on headphones and Samsung smartwatches in the description, and in addition to that, remember we have partnered with Subcase to give away a Galaxy S21 and a Galaxy S21 Ultra, so follow the first second description, enter promo code POCKETNOWGALAXY. That'll extend your chances to win. Now how about if we continue with official news, but then moving on to Apple as a, I don't know about you, but my Apple Watch Series 6 has been acting up for a bit with the calorie count. I was waiting for an update and it finally happened. Yesterday, the company released iOS 14.4, iPadOS 14.4, and watchOS 7.3, which I highly recommend you download. See, iOS 14.4 includes improvements like smaller QR codes being recognized by the camera, the option to classify your Bluetooth devices and settings for the phone to correctly identify headphones from other devices. Apple is now also warning you that with iOS 14.4, your iPhone can recognize if the camera on it had a third-party repair for the iPhone 12 series, which is handy if you buy a second-hand phone, I guess. iOS 14.4 also brings a ton of bug fixes, like the artifacts that appear in HDR photos in the 12 Pro, some widgets that wouldn't show your activity data, and delayed typing in the keyboard. Probably one of the biggest changes is with the HomePod Mini, as Apple is now introducing the functionality of the U1 Ultra Wideband chip for the iPhone 11 and 12 series. This improves the handoff feature, as well as visual and audible and haptic effects while doing so. And then watchOS 7.3 brings some new Unity faces, ECG support for more countries, and enhancements to Fitness Plus, but what I really cared about most were the bug fixes. So yeah, make sure you download it if you're having any issues with some bugs, though not so much if you have a third-party camera repair, because we don't know if it's going to work after that. And here's the deal, we're not going to bore you with more specifics, we've got everything detailed in an article in the description. Now, how about if we move on to talk about nothing, like if that were the theme of a Seinfeld show. And no, don't worry, this is not one of Diego's bad jokes. Apparently, this is what Carl Pei decided was the best name for his new company to call it nothing. A few months ago, he made headlines after leaving OnePlus to start his own venture, and now he's announcing that his new company is called Nothing. This comes shortly after the seven million he got in financing after it was announced back in December with funding from his friends like Kevin Lin and even Casey Neistat. Carl issued a statement saying, it's been a while since anything interesting has happened in tech. It's time for a breeze of fresh air. He claims that Nothing's mission is to remove barriers between people and technology. 
to create a seamless digital future. He believes that the best technology is beautiful and intuitive to use, and once it is sufficiently advanced, it should fade into the background and feel like nothing. The company will be releasing their first products in the first half of this year, but we have no information on what kind of products or how many we should expect. We don't even know what field they're going to be in, but we really hope this is not another essential case as we all know how that went down. Let us know what you think about the name in the comments because even though I understand the purpose for it and I like it, I also debate the negative connotation of it. That being said, I've always considered Call Pay to be a marketing genius, so I'm excited to see what's new. And since we were talking about Carl, let's talk about his former company, OnePlus, as apparently this is yet another company that's going to follow on the bandwagon of launching products early with the OnePlus 9. And today we get more details. A couple of weeks ago, we got some high definition renders of the phone from Ben Geskin, and now we get to see the real deal. This is apparently the OnePlus 9 Pro, and these pictures were taken somewhere in a Chinese subway. From the back, we get to see a new camera module, which brings two large sensors for 48 megapixel primary, the wide angle, and of course, a smaller lens for the macro. This looks like a silver color variant with the OnePlus logo in the center, as you could expect. From the front, remember, this is the Pro, so it's rocking a curved display with very small bezels and the punch hole, which looks small, kind of like Photoshop, though I'm not going to hold my breath that this is the Pro, because if you remember, the OnePlus 8 also had a curved display. Now, speaking of that, when it comes to specifications, the Snapdragon 888 is going to power this device, 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. We're also expecting this phone to bring a 32 megapixel selfie shooter, a 4500 milliamp hour battery, and 40 watt wireless charging. And we're expecting this phone to launch along with the rest of the OnePlus 9 lineup, which we're expecting to be three phones sometime in March, apparently early, and we could be getting a watch as well. We'll keep you posted. Now, for the hottest news today, let's move on back to Apple, but we have three different reports on what the company is doing very soon, so bear with me. Let's start with the next generation AirPods Pro, which should be launched very soon. According to a new report from Digitimes, a company called Windbond is expected to be one of the suppliers for the next generation AirPods Pro, which are slated to launch later in the first half of the year. And actually, this isn't the first time that we've heard as previous reports claim that we should get these in April, along with the iPhone SE Plus. I know, you heard that right, iPhone SE Plus. Now moving on to another unreleased wearable, let's talk AirTags again. We have some new high resolution images of another leather keychain carrier for these AirTags from a company called Cero, which is actually a sub-brand from Spigen. The keychain is listed at $20 along with its features, like being wireless charging compatible, which is one of the big questions over how these products are going to charge. The thing about it is the keychain is listed for late October, but these have been delayed so much this could probably be October 2020. So we'll see. Finally, let's talk iPhone 13. A new report from Barclays Analyst claims that the iPhone 13 series will bring Wi-Fi 6E amplifiers with suppliers like Broadcom benefiting from Apple and Samsung adopting the technology. Wi-Fi 6E is the technology which offers higher performance, lower latency, and faster rates of up to 6 GHz you know, stuff that the Galaxy S21 Ultra already has. We'll see what else we get as it seems that iPhone leaks are kind of slowing down. Let us know in the comments down below which of these products are you excited to get? Because I'm not going to lie, I am waiting for two products this year. One is a revamp to the AirPods Pro. Sadly, my pros have the issue with the squeaking noise on the left earbud. Went to Apple, tried to replace it, and well, they didn't. And uh, the other is a smaller iPad. But that's me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me enjoy some of the coolest t-shirts ever. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.